Mindset is everything. So if you want to continue to get stronger, you're going to have to develop your mindset. You know, in the Western world, we like to think about like the mind, body, and spirit as some kind of separate entity. In reality, it's all, you know, the YMCA, Native Americans, all these people had it right when they had that triangle sort of representing that union. And that's you got to think of this. So the biggest mistake I see people making in powerlifting strength or go to that next level is actually on lifestyle. So you even see like top level lifters and stuff. So they'll get like more popular and all of a sudden they'll start traveling around, things like that and it throws off their sleep pattern. So if you want to create a lifestyle, if you want to get as strong as possible, that is conducive to gaining strength. So, you know, you can't be out all night chasing women, things like that. You know, you can't be out drinking all the time, stuff like that. When you buy into it that way, your mindset improves by default. What I like to do on these type of things is, um, mental movies so just rehearse yourself doing it if you're you always say if you're lacking so like 15 you know 20 minutes just sit there relax we've talked about this already before is creating those mental movies i always say if you're lacking confidence you don't really believe watch this mental movie as a third party so like if johnny doesn't have confidence he needs to be a detached observer observing himself hitting that 705. if he ha has confidence and he's feeling good about it embody it like be that person you're not a third party observer you are that person so when you're confident you you become that person you see it in your mind you hear it you feel it every you know panoramic view all your senses are integrated if you're lacking that confidence observe it as a third party and um, you want to make these these mental movies as, as uh, vivid as possible and i'm not going to go into a whole episode on this we do another time but basically what i like to do is um when you're creating that movie, you see it from a, a distance, you see it stick figures, you know, black and white. And as you get, you know, get, move yourself in closer and closer, the realer it feels. And you become, um, you know, the, you, it, becomes more, it becomes brighter. It becomes three dimensional. And eventually it's a clear screen. It's panoramic. You see it everywhere. Yes. Come on, champ. Here we go. Let's go. Bring it. Come on. Yes. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. So his mindset's everything. You gotta, but it's not just like all of a sudden you're just watching mental movies and you can be a fool outside of the weight room. It's like once you start eating right, you start buying, sleeping right, you start doing everything right, your mindset improves by default. And you take it to the next level with these techniques. Here we go. So, right now, um, I know what works for Johnny. He's been out of the game, so we're using some exercises that work very well for him to build him back up to his deadlift. So we need to hit these numbers on these exercises, and then it's gonna get it's gonna get more fancy after this. So right now, the exercises you see Johnny doing, we want to get a base level of strength and increase in all those exercises because we know we'll get direct transference to the deadlift. So that's why there's not it, it's not the point where we need a ton of variety. Um, we're gonna do this for eight weeks, and then. Um, reassess where he's at at that point and take it to the next level from there. Uh, after the dealer week, I feel really great. I feel stronger than ever. Uh, most important thing, I feel more dialed in than ever. Um, myself and Josh uh, explained it before. Uh, during the deload week, the importance of, um, and we added on, uh, besides giving your body a little bit of extra rest, it's very important to practice your technique as well. And like I said, I feel more dialed in than ever um, because last week going lighter and doing those repetitions and I took it serious. I focused and took it serious, not just me and Josh talked about this and he said that was one of the great things that I did that he saw was I took it serious and really focused and still lifted like I was lifting that heavy weight, you know, and doing that, I dialed myself in uh, into my form to help me this week going up heavy. Uh, it was perfect. You're not going to build, let me say something else. You're not going to build technique. I said, if you, I don't know if you pick up, picked up a commentary. We're talking about this. You don't build technique at, you know, the goal here is 705. 
that was 90% of it today. You ain't gonna build technique there. It just doesn't happen. Like, I mean, if you're gonna learn how to box, you wanna get in the ring with somebody swinging full force at you, or you're gonna be like your drills and stuff, we're gonna build it. Same thing here, it's like, this can be a, t that's the mindset shift we're talking about. The, the, the deload, reload, whatever we're gonna call it, is no longer just time to go light, and, you know, like, and like, you know, hit on the disco bunny on the Stairmaster. It's about focusing in, it's about dialing your technique. Boom. Yeah, when we first, first, first week, um, yeah, of course, you know, I definitely wasn't dialed in. I definitely was questioning, second guessing, you know, all of that. Mentally, I was distraught. Uh, I had so many different, you know, uh, uh, things, questions, answers going around, going around and around and around in my head. I could barely focus on what I was doing. Um, here, the fifth week, I'm feeling great. You know, uh, we did everything. Uh, that we needed to do. Uh, Josh took me through um, the training I needed to go through to uh, dial myself in, to get uh, uh, confident in myself. Um, I wouldn't say I'm 100% right now. Um, I'll say I'm about 80% where I need to be. Um, and mind you, my 80% is some people's 100%. Not bragging, but I'm just so in tune and love this exercise so much. And, just, and I'm so excited about, you know, this series that we're putting out for you um, that uh, I can't wait. Like right now, I can't wait till next week to, you know, go through it again. Uh, it's amazing. Um, uh, and uh, I just say, yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I'm hitting my stride on deadlift mentally. I still got to wind it up a little bit, you know, dial it in a little bit better. Um, but the physical is helping the mental. And of course, the mental is going to help the physical be even better. So stay tuned. Uh, eight weeks, we're going to blow it up, take it down again, blow it back up. So stay tuned. Stick around with us. We got so much more to give you. And um, I'm so excited about it. Where we want to be, the zone, state of flow, whatever you want to call it, that's where we got to be on that 705. You, that's why you have to take care of all these loosens now so you're ready then. Like, it should not be like, there shouldn't be, okay, I need to break the, the weight off the floor. Then when it gets to knee level, I'm gonna, you know, fire my glutes and my hips. It's not like that. If you've ever lifted this kind of weight before, um, I actually did that in that dynamic spin release thing I was talking about with Vince Nello. I went back to first time I benched 600 and I, I couldn't remember anything about it up until then of like, just I just remember coming up off the bench, it's like it just automatically happened. You know, it's like a white zone. And doing the, not like the kind of hypnosis thing, I actually kind of got back to where I remember the music that was playing, the announcer and all that. But up until that point, if I ever thought about it, it just like, I remember putting the weight back and getting up off the bench. And that's how it needs to be like, you know, it's just gonna get, like you're not thinking about it. It just needs, everything's automatic. You're operating a state where there is no problems. There's only solutions. You're gonna make it happen. And that starts right here. You can't get there if you don't do things right now. Oh! 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 Oh!